over $8 billion wasted in Nigeria's elephant project. Beyond that, the Ajakuta steel mills is a financial black hole in the entire African continent. I will tell you why in just a moment. The Ajakuta steel company swallowed billions of dollars of taxpayer money since its inception in 1979, yet it is still not producing a single sheet of steel at the moment. But that's not all. The federal government also claimed to have spent 38.9 billion naira in salaries and allowances to workers over the past 10 years. Wait, how could this be happening while Nigerians are struggling with hunger amidst the current harsh economic challenges in the country? Who is benefiting from the funds meant for the Ajakuta steel mills in Kogi State? We seek to find out in the next few minutes. Imagine a project meant to be the backbone of Nigeria's industrialization, but it's becoming a symbol of corruption and mismanagement. The Ajakuta Steel Company was supposed to cost $650 million, but it's now a bottomless pit. Despite the huge investment, the company's website claims it directly employ 10,000 workers at the first phase of commissioning with the potential to engage 500,000 employees in upstream and downstream industries. But what's the point of having workers if there is no production? Well, this could be a simple plan to divert public funds. Even though it is not operating, the company is said to be owing 1 billion naira electricity bill. In January 2024, President Bola Tinibu attempted to revive the company by opening discussions with a Chinese steel company, Luang Steel Holding Group. But so far, there has been no positive feedback from that engagement. Anyway, there has been some progress though. The Senate committee has vowed to revive the Ajakuta steel plant. And Nigeria has signed a deal to rehabilitate, complete and operate the plant, but nobody knows when. Now, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC is set to investigate corruption allegations at the steel company located in Kogi State. Then, this happened. Engineer Sumaila Abdul Akaba, the sole administrator of the Jakuta Steel Company Limited, has stepped down amid the ongoing EFCC investigation. Privately owned steel companies are also pumping billions of naira into building new plants, while Nigeria is busy wasting billions of dollars into what is known as the biggest financial black hole in the country. The Ajakuta steel was envisaged to serve as the bedrock of Nigeria's industrialization. The steel complex had reportedly reached 98% completion as far back as 1994, but no steel was produced after it was abandoned. This abandoned project was conceived in 1979 by the military administration of Olusha Gunobasanjo to develop industrialization and have a functional steel industry in the country. The Ajakuta Steel Company saga is a stark reminder of the dangers of corruption and mismanagement in the Nigerian system. Billions of naira have been squandered by successive governments in the past four decades. And there are allegations that government cabals have been mismanaging the funds meant for the development of the company. But some believe that it happened as a result of policy errors within the system. What do you think about this issue? Join the conversation below. I'm Ibrahim Ismail. Thanks for watching The Context.